dear students today i am here to discuss about the general character and examples of phylum mollusca phylum mollusca most of us frequently visited the, the sea shores and other aquatic body so in the sea shore or even in the uh, shallow depth of the sea we can see the varieties of shells there are so various shells with the different uh, structure and different colors and these shells encloses an animal group animal group which are soft body which are soft body so these animals are mollusks they are mollusks so the phylum mollusca in the groups soft body animals soft body animals it includes soft body animals okay so mollusks are aquatic it is found both in the fresh water and marine fresh water as well as marine terrestrial terrestrial they are also living on land some land forms of mollusks are also there so mollusks are aquatic and terrestrial in the habitat in the habitat the phylum mollusca it is the second largest phylum in the animal kingdom is the second largest phylum in the animal kingdom they are triploblastic triploblastic thylomates then bilaterally symmetrical yeah triploblastic thylomates bilaterally symmetrical animals bilaterally symmetrical animals their body wall contains three layers ectoderm outer ectoderm middle mesoderm and inner endoderm the body cavity is zero and their body symmetry is bilateral symmetrical they exhibit monoscans monoscus exhibits all kind of level of body organization organ level of body organization the body organization is organ level of organ body organization as i already mentioned here the body is soft soft body the body is soft and the body soft body is externally covered by shell covered by calcareous shell covers its body in most of the mollusks its body is externally covered by calcareous shell calcareous shell that means it is made up of calcium substance So the shell is made up of 
gas shell substances and this calcareous shell is secreted by mantle it is secreted by the mantle mantle is a fold of skin which is present above the hump visible hump of its body visible hump of its body and this uh, fold of skin is known as mantle so this mantle secretes calcareous shells some molluscs they do not possess external calcareous shell they lack shell for example octopus it is commonly known as devil fish it is found in the marine habitat octopus it has eight tentacles tentacles and it is known as octopus so this octopus then the sepia they do not possess a external calcareous shell here octopus totally lacks shell it lacks shells whereas another example for example another example that you can give that sepia sepia commonly known as cuttlefish it has internal shell shell is internal okay most of the molluscs are having external calcareous shell few of the molluscs they lack shell for example octopus and few of the molluscs they possess internal shell internal shell okay the next character the body of the mollusk body of mollusk is divided into body is divided into head food that is muscular food muscular food then visceral hump visceral hump and mantle the body of the mosca is divided into head muscular food visceral hump and mantle the head is the anterior portion anterior portion of the body maybe exists in different shapes okay and muscular food food is muscular in nature okay then visceral hump it encloses all the visceral organ visceral organs for example digestive organs uh and excretory organs uh then uh, reproductive organs so these are generally considered as visceral organs and uh, these organs are present in the visceral hump and mantle mantle is a thin fold of skin which covers the visceral hump which covers the visceral hump and there is a gap between the visceral hump and mantle so this gap is known as space is known as visceral hump visceral gap or mantle cavity known as mantle cavity mantle cavity and the cavity is the space between the visceral hump and the mantle this will be the the mantle the main function of the mantle is to secrete shell it secretes shell next character the mantle cavity encloses the gills it encloses the gills gills are that 
they are present in the mantle cavity and this gives acts as respiratory and excretory organ excretory organ mantle gills acts as respiratory and excretory organs so these gills are present in the mantle cavity then head bears tentacles head bears tentacles head bears tentacles tentacles are the sense organs or it may be also used for capturing the food and analyzing the food materials for example Uh, in case of octopus eight tentacles are there eight tentacles are there long tentacles and each tentacle has suckers in its inner side inner side suckers are there and these suckers are meant for capturing the food that has been paralyzed in paralyzed in the prey oh, okay so these tentacles are there in the head region okay then mouth has a fine like organ fine like organ it is also known as rasping organ rasping organ known as redula known as redula redula is nothing but the rasping organ present in the mouth the shape is five like and this redula is uh, used for feeding it is used for feeding feeding okay then next character the molluscs are dioecious dioecious that is unisexual they are unisexual male and female are exist separate exist as separate individuals and fertilization fertilization is external they are oviparous they are oviparous egg laying egg laying okay and development is development is indirect development that is to the larva indirect development development is indirect development that is to the larva larval stage examples examples now we look at the examples of this phylum Pila mucosa, pila, p i l a, pila mucosa. It is commonly known as apple snake. Apple snake. Then pearl oyster, oysters. Pink tada, pearl oyster. Scientific name. Then uh, sepia, cuttlefish. Sepia, cuttlefish. Lollipop, squid. It is commonly known as squids. Then octopus, devilfish. Commonly known as devilfish. Then uh, sea hare. Aplysia, Aplysia, see here. Then Dentarium, Dentarium is commonly known as elephant tusk shell. Elephant tusk shell. Then Chiton, Chiton. So these are the examples, common examples of the phylum Mollusca. Phylum Mollusca.
phylum echinodermata phylum echinodermata so it is a grey word actually phylum dermata so it includes spiny skin animals echinoderms are spiny skin animals they are the invertebrate race with the spiny skin the skin is spiny hence they are known as echinoderm the reason for the spiny nature of the skin is due to the presence of an endoskeleton known as ossicles dermal ossicles dermal ossicles calcaneous ossicles are there dermal ossicles are there so like this shape ossicles are present in their skin the dermis of their body wall and uh, apart from this dermal ossicles another structure is that they are known as pedicellaria they are known as pedicellaria they are known like this see the like structures are that here and that on their skin so this pedicellaria and ossicles the one ossicles gives spiny nature to the skin of this animal and they are known as echinodermata echinodermata the function performed by this ossicles right and pedicellaria in their body wall is protection it eliminates the things or particles or matters which comes in contact with their skin it will eliminate any matter if it comes in contact with its skin thereby it gives protection hence they are known as spiny skin animals okay then the echinodermates are marine exclusively marine marine habitat they are found in the marine habitat marine habitat the body is radially symmetrical radially symmetrical with star shape most of the canal uh, has a star shaped body radially symmetrical triploblastic body wall made up of ectodermis dermis and endodermis ectodermis or ectoderm dermis and endodermis these are the three layers of the body and they are triploblastic then uh, zero mates the body cavity is zero the proplastic and zero mate echinodermates exhibits organ grade of organization organ grade of body organization body organization is organ grey organ system is formed in the body the body is divided into oral and aboral surface the upper surface is aboral surface upper surface is known as Aboral surface and lower surface surface or this surface also known as 
ventral surface ventral surface is oral surface so here the oral surface is one of the echinoderms the oral surface is facing towards the bottom of the sea facing towards the bottom bottom of the sea okay so this uh, lower surface that is the oral surface has mouth the mouth is situated at the oral surface oral surface okay then digestive system is complete complete with the mouth and anus complete with the mouth at the oral surface and anus at the upper oral surface on the anus is situated on the upper oral surface and the digestive system is complete complete digestive system it starts from mouth and ends with the anus and the digestive system is complete complete okay then
this filling larva and this larva then have a metamorphosis into and into and okay so these are the important general chemistry features of pyrum achaeum nermeta now look at the examples of achaeum uh, nermeta various examples uh, can be given sea star for example whenever you visit the sea or ocean whenever you visit the sea so in the sea shore you can find that many number of uh, star like structures present in the shallow water the shallow water on the sandy beach so these are the sea star sea stars it looks like star it looks like a star okay uh, it is also known as starfish so the scientific name is asterias scientific name is asterias then sea urchin sea urchin is a common name for echinus echinus sea urchin then antedon antedon is commonly known as sea lily sea lily so it's a uh, uh, arms are uh, just like feathers looks like feather and uh, these are the deep sea creatures deep sea is found only in the deep sea and in the deep sea it firmly attaches to the bottom of the rocky shore bottom of the uh, rocky uh, shore okay then uh, cucumeria commonly known as sea cucumber commonly known as sea cucumber it is also found attached to the rocks in the rocky shore then uh, opiotrix or opiura opiura another name is opiura brittle star brittle star so these are the examples of achaeum dermata these are the examples of achaeum dermata